there's a little bit of good in all of us and crisis often brings that to the top and we believe that olivia has so much good in her and it was there before this crisis it'll be there after but we are inspired olivia hoping her passion is what spreads during this pandemic help homeless people and other people believe so they can help others and if we're honest with ourselves we can all use a little hope right now. Keep believing and keep being kind to all people over the world. Chris Hosh, <laughs> NBC5 News. What a beautiful adorable. story. I know. Well, the Salvation Army at Oakbrook Terrace has been here uh, really for 125 years. We started in the Austin area of Chicago, moved out here in the 70s, and we've been active in meeting human needs without discrimination and really telling the message of Jesus Christ through what we do. My doorbell rang the other night and I came down and Olivia was standing at my door and I had seen her picture and passing out masks earlier that day and thought, oh, that would be so great if she could come do that at the Salvation Army. Wave your hand. Go right to that guy over there that's waving his hand, okay? I am working on a blog post I'm going to write up about all the food pantry going on here and all that you're contributing because I think that's really cool. My name is Olivia and I am seven years old. My website's called Olivia Drew Cares and I'm raising money to get a hotel. So tell us what you're doing here today. Today, I am trying to give out as much mess as I can for people who aren't covered up or just want a new one. So for every mask that's purchased because we bought the mask in uh, bulk, so for every mask that's purchased, then we donate. Thank you so much. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you too, God. We started passing out masks as a result of the order that the governor put into place yeah. and that everyone needed to be covered two years and up by May 1st. And so since she wanted to help uh, the homeless and people who didn't have masks, we purchased bulk. We decided we can get somebody to help us. Um, buy these and we would just give them out. So we give them out to people on the streets. She gave them out to DuPage Pads um, last week and this weekend we're giving them out to the Reach um, Pantry and that is with DuPage AME Church. Wonderful. How did you find out about the Salvation Army and why did you want to come here today? Well, my dad just told me about the Salvation Army but I wanted to come here so I can give away some of our masks and so people can cover up at all times. So how many masks have you given away so far? Um, I did give 150, but then a lot of people are trying to support and, they, and a lot of people need masks, so the numbers are adding up. So yeah. if you could say something to the people that you're giving a mask to, what would you say to them? Keep believing or so, and so maybe your dreams might come true. You can get a home and you can have lots of food to eat. You just pulled them over to put them on. And they look beautiful. You're welcome. Any needs for this particular Salvation Army? Always dry good foods. Yes. <clears throat> of course, there's always a monetary need, uh, but dry good foods, macaroni and cheese, things like that will really help get yep. us through. Canned vegetables, hamburger helper, spaghetti sauce. Um, those are the things that we are trying to stock our pantry with. For more information. Yes. Um, S-A-O-B-T dot org. And you can donate um, if you're looking for a monetary donation. It's saobt.org slash fundraise.